last time on the Cartographer. Zero Zero got cheated out of a race by dashing shotgun blast to the back, and the team spent the better part of 10 minutes looking for Marvin Mobuto. In this episode, Zero Zero has a close encounter with a rocket flood while Dashi gets killed by Zero Zero's stray grenade, and as an added surprise, the team go retro and rock something classic. Nice, let's go. Halo. Some new. I'm finished. Halo, its divine winds will rush through the stars. I can't do the voice, but I know that's cool. <laughs> Such a pretty room. Is something wrong? No. No. Can we cut in Caesar's voice from uh, Planet of the Apes? <laughs> no! No! That was such a cool scene. Okay. It just magic that up. Now, bearing in mind, in Halo 2, we see that it, to, in, in order to activate the Halo, it literally is as easy as just putting the index into the terminal. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Toady about. Bit of sarcasm. Love it. You have any idea what that bastard almost made you do? You mean this? Oh, come on, Chuck. Give it more. That is absolutely unacceptable. Sod off. Oh, what? See, I've used the term sod off on several occasions, but I can't remember a time I've ever heard anyone say toady about. Yeah, like I said, I didn't I didn't know that was a word until we um Oh, Chief's showing there. Yeah, I didn't know that was a word until I played this game. Ma <laughs> massively over overacted in, in regards to physicality then. Yeah. Like the wipe the wipe them the wipe them out at that really like broad wave of the hand, you know, you went all like Jedi Master for a second. He did. These are not the droids you're looking for. <laughs> this is not the index you're looking for. Is it true? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> God, 343's a big fucker, isn't he? Yeah. I always yeah, think of him as really small. You wouldn't want him to, to suddenly lose the ability to float and land on your foot. I'd honestly go for a volley. Yeah, just a bit. God. Who voices him? Tim Dadabo, right? What? It was Tim Dadabo who voices him, right? Yes, it is, yeah. Here we go. Last time you asked me. We must activate the ring. Get us out of here. No, I'm willing to help. I will take my part in other things. Still, I must have you. Give your comfort to me. I'll do the best to make a perfect So many of them. Thank you, sir. I saw this again. One of the coolest lines in any game ever. Oh. Okay, so a very interesting line there um, was um, whatever he said. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> last last time you asked me. Yes, that's the one. Were it yeah. my choice? Would I do it? Yeah. So, so 
Yeah, I'll let you take the lead with that one. There's okay, so there's we should preface this. There's a there is a discrepancy in the way in which um, Halo lore in Bungie's era and Halo lore in 343's era is portrayed. So obviously this is a Bungie era game, and by that implication, and also by the other information we've heard from 343 Gilly Spark and the Grave Mind and um, the terminals and some he just some heavy implications, basically, that humanity are the forerunners. At least in Bungie's day, humanity were the forerunners. So three four three Gooey Spark was recognizing the Master Chief as um, a forerunner. Um, whether or not he knew him personally, or whether or not it was, it's literally just a rec like a recollection that he is a member of the forerunner race. Um, but since 343 have taken over, um, they have separated humanity and the Forerunners into two distinct species. Um, so as a consequence to that, they, they, um, that kind of discredits somewhat the, what, what 343 was saying here, or retcons it, what 343 is saying here. However, if you also consider that they brought in the, the um, idea of the, um, the Gesh, the Gene Songs, um, it doesn't retcon it completely because it then brings into the possibility that um, 343 Guilty Spark was recognizing a gene song within the Master Chief um, of either an ancient forerunner or a, 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 an entity that 343 had once met. Um, what's interesting is that if you read the, um, the Forerunner saga, you discover that the individual that actually asked 343 Guilty Spark were it his choice would he activate the rings was the Isodidact um, and the Isodidact is not the same didact as the one that we meet in Halo 4 that's the Erdidact the Isodidact was a forerunner called Born Stella Makes Eternal Lasting who received a brevet mutation of the Erdidact and basically became kind of a, a second incarnation so to speak or, or you know a, a, a second yeah yeah that's the right word incarnation basically of um of the didact um, and the er didact wasn't present um, at the firing of the array the first time around because he'd already been put into exile by his wife the librarian at that point um, so then the implication is and I understand why people have come to this conclusion the reason why 343 guilty spark says that to the chief is because the chief may contain the gene song of the isodidact Meaning that Chief contains within him basically the uh, the, f the the dormant foreigner consciousness of um, the Promethean warrior servant, the Didact, who was responsible for firing the rings the first time round. Huh. So yeah, the the discrepancy in law, um, like I say, once upon a time it was just f humans. The foreigners were just ancient humans. Uh, there was an, uh, like an ancient version of humanity. And over generations after the firing of the ring, we we had forgotten our history, and you know, we just became what what we think ourselves to be now. But three four three kind of retconned that and separated human humans and foreigners into two distinct species. But I will quickly just add in on the end to that that I still stand by my emergent theory that perhaps humans and foreigners actually share a common ancestor. Um, and as such, we were related once, and and I think I gave them, I think I gave that that, um, that common ancestral race the name the progenitors, because, well, it's very Halo-y. Yeah, that's also something you touched on in episode two of the series. One hundred and sixty-four. Yeah, uh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, because we talked about um, the foreigners being uh, ancient human, or just yeah. being, you know, their own uh, race. So, with um, with that in mind, uh, let's let's progress a bit as well. Um, but with that in mind, uh, I'll, gra I'll grab oh. the I'll grab the t oh, terminal yeah. first. Sorry about that. Thanks. I love this piece of music. Like you know, before we were saying about how they do um, how they do reflections in yes. CE in the original graphics. How do they make the reflection there? Like you said, that obviously they take the level and they just flip it upside down. So well, how is that it was my guess. there, but it's not over there? 
Um, I mean, if we were at eye level, if we were to be at eye level with this glass panel, this edge would meet with that edge over there. Yeah. Like, if we were at eye level. <sighs> if you come as far enough as over here, you can get pretty close to that. If you jump, you can sort of notice they sort of almost reach. Hmm. Uh, and that's how they're doing it. So right now, you can almost see a perfect reflection. Yeah. I think that's how they do it personally. Uh, I'm not an expert on that. If anyone knows how they did it, um, please let us know. I'm actually very intrigued on that. But, um, yeah, like we got an upside down last chief, which explains why this room for a control room isn't very technically um, difficult, apart from the glass underneath us. Like, it's just a big empty room. Obviously, when you switch to uh, the remastered graphics, it looks a bit better because, you know, the capability of modern technology um, heavily outweighs what um, the game was made in mind with. Um, yeah. And then they decided to get rid of the reflections on the floor. And I, my guess to that is purely because if they had the reflections on the floor with the current graphics, we wouldn't be able to handle it in two of these rooms at once. Fair enough. But yeah. Twenty-five thousand light years. That is the effective range of this installation. According to the star charts archived on board this installation, I estimate that there are three thousand seven hundred ninety-two worlds capable of sustaining biological sentient life within that twenty-five thousand light year range. In reality. It may be significantly more than that. And if the full array was tuned and activated by installation 00, the harmonics of the overlapping waves would magnify that effect exponentially, cascading to cover every known star system. And that only considers the firing of a mere seven halos. And the original 12 rings survived to see use. Sterilization would spread far further than most forerunners ever feared we could reach. But even with just seven rings, we were able to destroy every side of the planet and every other sentient creature along with it. This victory was the will of our people. Despite the fact that it meant our own end as well. But by empiric measurement, it was a victory and cleared the stage for the rest of the librarian's plan. I sometimes wonder whether the didact could have succeeded at a much smaller cost. I know the folly of opposing him personally, and his brilliance was unsurpassed. Except, perhaps, by her own. He never got the chance to fully execute his proposal. The council saw to that. But if something were to go wrong with one of the halos, if our tools were ever turned against us. Long plans, indeed. There we go. Okay. That was a good terminal. It was. Very um, good. I like that part with the uh, the thing and that dude. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> can't be giving away all our secrets now. So, um... That's the thing as well. Is, uh, so, lending into uh, humans being uh, foreigners in Bungie era lore, a thing that I would like to bring up is that... You okay? <laughs> uh, I think I'd like to bring up as well is in uh, sketches that I, th I can't remember what format they came in, but they showed sort of concept art for missions in Halo 2, like um, before it finished uh, development. Uh, they showed concept stuff for that. Um, yeah. And it showed that the Ark was originally planned to be on Earth. It was meant to be a location on Earth. Yeah. Um, and with that said, they also planned to reveal a tomb with a human skeleton inside of it. Yeah. Um, which further solidifies that humans were meant to be um, foreigners. Mm. So there's no actual reflection on this floor here. Because they just didn't render, like in remastered, they didn't re-render the room. It's sort of like a very solid, or not a very solid, but like it's a displayed image. Like they've got the actual ceiling just zoomed yeah. in on the floor. 
Yeah. So when you stand here, it looks like the ceiling, it, you know, the reflection looks like there should be a you know a wall this way or not a wall like a walkway that way. Yeah. But there is not. And uh, looking in that corner, yeah, looking in that corner over there shows this corner up here. Because they spoofed it. Yeah, that too. So I really like the reflections. I think they're kind of nice. Even if they don't really work too well. Probably you're, like, you're like Frankie and his, his obscene enjoyment of water. I am. Ah, oh, one of the best uh, piece of Halo music. Okay, I see why they added a grenade indicator in, in Halo 4. Um, <laughs> designed Something for special. Zero, zero in mind. Something special. Um, Take right. one of these. Yeah. So, another thing I like to talk about is like, there's a sniper rifle here if you want that. Um, Are you better with a sniper than I am? I'm probably. Uh, <laughs> no idea, but you can just cut to me if you miss. I'll have the pistol. Okay, I'll take the good one. Okay. Well, it's basically, we both basically, basically both have sniper rifles now. Yeah. No, it's actually glass here. There is. Okay, I yeah, did. There is. I just did not listen to Cortana at all, but she's talking about these um, face pulse generators. Face pulse generators, yeah. And there's something I'd like to bring up about this um, in regards to the flood and the end of this level plus the start of the next. Um, which I'll bring up now because I can't think of a way to bring it up. But in the novel The Flood, which I've finished reading, really good, uh, really good read. Uh, she actually talks about picking up a lock on the <laughs> captain's, <laughs> picking up a lock on the captain's CNI transponder. She talks about that in the book at the end of this level. Yeah. Um, as opposed to when they get to um, the Truth and Reconciliation, which logically makes sense because otherwise there's no reason really to go to the Truth and Reconciliation unless she had that information. Yeah. Okay. Two times zoom on the sniper rifle is useless. I can hear the cheering, but no gunshots. Oh, slide boy. Yeah. Surprise. So yeah, that's a, it's not really a discrepancy, it's just a, a creative difference. It doesn't really make too much of a difference either way. Yeah. Uh, which way around it is, but it just sort of thought I'd worth noting down. Oh! I took his hat off. <laughs> he took more than his hat off. Anything that was attached to his hat, you took off. Um, so yeah. Should we talk about the Sentinels as well, actually? I want to bring a bit more up about those. Given yeah, that they're, they're one of the main. Yeah, they are. They're enormous. So, I think the people always forget is that you're playing as a seven foot badass, not as a five foot ten average Joe. Well, six foot four for me, but you know. Yeah, you are. I'm, I say average Joe. Average height is around there. I'm six one, so we're all safe. Um, we're six foot gang, but uh, <laughs> but uh, basically the Sentinels are a lot larger than people let onto. Um. Yeah, yeah. They're actually they're actually nearly they're nearly three meters in length. So, like, I, I think they're about about nine and a half feet in length. Which is just obscene. It's yeah, beyond obscene. And then if you consider that, yeah, you've got there. I think they're yeah. I think they're about six foot, just over six foot wide. God, I love the about, um, the African woman singing. Like the sort of like the. Uh, I I just like that. That's nice. So that's fine to use. Sorry, go on. <laughs> I, I believe that in the original soundtrack it wasn't actually uh it was Marty a woman. right I think it was Marty yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, I'm I'm listening in the uh, the hey, remastered hey he, he did he did bloody well he I did mean, a bloody good job yeah I, I loved couldn't, it I couldn't hit those notes ah is he gone what oh there he is okay do you want the rocket launch uh, no I'm not giving you this actually. I don't trust you with it. Just immediately out, out, like, outwardly refuse the possibility of me wielding a rocket launcher. Yeah. It's like, no, you ain't having this. Yeah, I realised that as soon as I opened my mouth, I was like, that's probably not the sentence I should finish. <laughs> so, sorry, uh, I interrupted while you were talking about the sentinels. 
yeah so that that so yeah the forced perspective of of um the first person shooter and obviously how big the chief is you don't it doesn't quite get across how big um how big stuff really is yeah and sentinels are freaking huge um and yeah they they they're, they're not outfitted like they would be um you know sort of machines of war so to speak they're fitted like they're fit they're outfitted more like um surgical tools almost so they have obviously they have armatures at the front that they can manipulate objects with um and the sentinel beam is basically a very fine cutting tool so yeah they they they're certainly not although they're called aggressor sentinels they're certainly not they don't they don't appear outwardly like they were designed in the first instance to be um yeah machines of machines of war so when's that arriving Ooh. for patreon members oh, this, <laughs> oh, what a, a sentinel yeah yeah hey guys i've made your sentinels enjoy um share it to be fair i i now i've got the resin 3d printer it Ooh. would just be a case of acquiring models and then printing them in the resin printer, making a cast. And well, then... have I got news for you, mister? Oh, I have reached the top of the level. Mm, I refuse. And I'm going further. There's a big glitch there. Oh, okay. Well, ignore that. <laughs> I mean, I can get you those models if you'd like. If that's something you particularly want to follow, I can uh, absolutely get access to those for you. <clears throat> I like the way it's silhouetted up here. The only thing you can see is the outline of the Banshee in Classic. That's creepy as hell. Yeah, flying down is terrifying. A very oddly symmetrical canyon though, right? Yeah. wasn't bad um yeah I, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting to halo 3 and coming back to this because this is obviously the canyon that you come back to in the very last one of the well, yeah is the very last level of halo 3 yes it is and that's the door that you escape through um to johnson's warhog oh right yeah so it is i never even thought about that Although the design of the canyon has changed slightly, and so does so is the control room. To be fair, yeah, but again, as uh, as you pointed out, I think when we did this level, well, not this level, but um, some of the control. I think you pointed out that like it changed it, when it was remade. It was changed to uh, be a bit more. Was it not to be adaptive, but more so for the sake of um, improving from last time? Like the control room was too easy to access yeah. this time, so they forced it down to seemingly one point of entry because the halo is unfinished when we arrive which implies that the only point of entry is where johnson comes through yeah which means that it's a choke point which is impressive oh this is the part where we uh we get to experience um oh wait we're not in legendary we're fine yeah so this is the on? phase pulse generator My shield and went as well. Well, of course it would. <laughs> oh, God. Help me. They're toadying about me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's contextually correct, but I'm using it. God, I love the sound of the sniper rifle in uh, Remastered. It's got so much kick. Uh oh. Okay, um, we stay in here, right, actually, don't we? And move out from here. Oh, the rumble. God, so, yeah, the strings here are really good. Like, the the musical strings. Yeah. Do we do we leave out here? Oh, no, we no, go back out we to go the back out where we came yeah. in. But it's worth noting, again, it's... <coughs> the phase pulse, you'll notice, at least, in when we get to Halo 3, there's a phase pulse generator um, hidden further back but there's also another one that you walk around the outside of to get to Johnson's Warhog 
and I'm guessing it's one of these that's moved position. Yeah. Because... I don't think it's... <coughs> I think, if I remember correctly, uh, when I was watching... Oh, uh, I, I don't remember the guy's name. He does, like, the breakdowns of the different beta versions of... Uh, of Halo. Oh, I can't remember his name. The life of me. It's excellent uh, content, though. Um... Oh, what was his name? That's going to bug me now. Not a clue. Uh, give me a second to Google it real quick. I don't want to okay. uncredit this guy. This guy did amazing work. And that's just the Halo Beta uploaded by Vengeful Vadim. That's his name. Uh, so he pointed out that there was actually a, a few cut rooms in which if you were yep. to fly through these walls... Um, you would actually find like a face pulse generator in that general direction over well over that way okay where there is actually one where johnson's room is but also there's one where johnson's room is in a second like normally yeah so i mean it could be that they just decided to go hey we've got like this old bsp let's repurpose it yeah quite possibly in terms of design from that but to be fair you fuck no not having it. <laughs> I will come back with a Banshee Bomb, if you so wish. Oh no, you've already taken off. <laughs> oh, they're on, the, uh, they're on the bridge, by the way. So what skills did you leave on first? Oh, I got Grump Birthday with a Banshee. <laughs> Oh, you blocked the door, did you? Nice. Did we come from this way? Oh, we yeah, did. We we, we go from the opposite way of the arrows. That's right. Yeah. Okay, we're getting there, guys. Please don't be mad at us. <laughs> I can see you typing in. I can see you typing in the chat. Don't. We're getting there. That's really gonna mess with anyone who thinks this is live, isn't it? <laughs> it is live, I don't know what you're talking about I mean, yeah, sorry, yeah Hey, guy in the chat, thanks for that 4 million uh, pound donation That's, appreciate it <laughs> Yeah Hey bud, um, good to see you <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> It's not live, honestly yeah, it's, This is still pre-recorded pre Yeah, we're, we're taking the mic uh, This is actually pre-recorded uh, This the date as of currently is uh, 2nd of February uh, 1942. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, World War II hasn't oh, ended oh, yet. Oh, you walked right in the way of that round. You bastard. You can't blame me for that. It's your fault. Ooh, I want that. Ow, I'm messed up. Uh, pick up your shotgun before I accidentally take the ammo. What the it. fuck? <laughs> I want to get your shotgun before I accidentally take the ammo. Good golly, Miss Molly, boy. Good golly, Miss Molly. Is this another emote? <laughs> yep, I think so. Let me get that. Uh, there you go. Got it. I think I've got it. I turned banner notifications off, so I just pressed the new share button on this uh, handy controller. That's a good Very good. Did you get your shotgun? Oh, uh, no, I'm happy with these two. Suit yourself. Oh, I will. I will. Oh, the flood. Oh. I forgot. Give me my shotgun pack. Uh, <laughs> nah, okay. don't worry about it. I mean, I'd rather take a plasma pistol and a assault rifle, to be honest with you. Nah, it's all good. Have a grenade. Oh no, 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 it. Hey, just feel lucky that I didn't put on the, um, Boom. all the other skulls I was going to put on. Yeah, so, <laughs> Ooh, oh, yeah, the people want to, the people want to see that, will they? So, right before we started, it was like, put your birthday on. Um, and I, was, I saw one skull, and I was like, yeah, great. And then I saw two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And all the skulls just kept increasing. We were almost about to do. Easy lasso, so easo. <laughs> that should be a new bloody speedrun category for us. 
ESO, yeah. Yeah. I mean, to be f to be fair, like I mean, the one the ones I I turned on initially were all the ones that make like explosions bigger, makes grunts like explode when they die, um, and make enemies drop grenades when they die. So, as well as like reducing like physics, so like heavy objects are easier to move. So yeah, basically any any explosion would have like nuked the local area. Yeah. Yeah, you guys have seen Chaos Halo by now. Oof, what the hell? Ah, now, we're above that, now we're right above that area where I didn't kill those marines a couple episodes ago. Yeah, that one, yeah, that one. Yeah. Where I absolutely decimated them with a rocket launcher. I'd say it's calculated, but you can't really calculate with a rocket launcher, you just do. Man, the music for this is great. I was literally, <laughs> I just shot that, that, this flood form the first time and it died. I stopped, turned around, I looked at it and I was literally about to say the line, get up so I could kill you again. And it and got it back did. up. <laughs> and it got back, did you kill it again? That's the question. Yeah, I killed it again, yeah. Okay, good. So I, I answered my, re my rhetorical question, yeah. Splendid. Okay, let's see. Ah. I see that plasma rifle, <coughs> gimme. What? Oh, I missed. Blood buddy. Yeah. Blood buddy. So one of the reasons I really like fighting the flood is it's sort of... I love Halo C's sort of uh, shooting mechanics and how uh, it all works. So playing this kind of feels uh, somewhat akin to a... Um, like fighting uh, in Doom. Yeah. Like the, uh, it's just combat after combat. Is this the, r yeah, okay, there it is. Uh, I dodged that. Whew, Double that kill. One. Shotgun spree. What was the other one? Hell's Jerome, right? It was a, uh, a, uh, Nope. Nope, nope. Whoop! Ah! Uh, there's the nothing to art. <laughs> there's nothing to art. <laughs> the popcorn boys wanted to cuddle. <laughs> well, I'd rather they didn't. PDA, public display of affection. That's not. Ooh, pistols. Pink. Pistols. Okay, he died way too quick, he's gonna get back up. A handful of grenades. That was an excellent advertisement campaign for Halo. Which one? Believe campaign. You know, oh, with, the, believe, uh, with yeah. the old the old veterans. Yes, with the museum. Ah! Ooh. I'm gonna shock on this person. <laughs> it's all good. Kept cool. That's not oh, like yeah, there's another, you, you there's another flood boy with a rocket launcher up here somewhere. Uh, there's two, I believe. Oh, good. Twice the pride, double the fall. Ah! Go. <laughs> oh, was it quick enough? <laughs> what happened there? I, <laughs> I blew, I, I blew away one of the um, one of the guys with a rocket uh, with the rocket launcher. And was sort of kind of half satisfied by um half satisfied by myself. I literally turned a tiny inch, and another another flood um another flood with a rocket launcher just looked straight at me and squeezed the trigger and blew blew us both away. Look at your corpse. Shit out of me. Oh Christ! Why do I keep dying in messed up positions at the moment? It's not messed up. <laughs> it's just new wave comfy. <laughs> God, that scared the living shit out of me. Yeah. Uh, they, there was actually originally, you know when you're in the service tunnels in the moor? Mm -hmm. There was originally a plan to have a, uh, a rocket flood in there. In the service tunnels. Oh, screw that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, look. Friendly popcorn boys. 
No. Oh. <laughs> There's nothing left. <laughs> That's why I feedbacked. I win. Boing. Shit. <laughs> Wingardium Leviosa. Oh no. For everyone who's watching, I'd quite like to see a Wingardium Leviosa in the chat. Come on. I know you can do it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you better not edit that out. <laughs> He's behind you. Bam. Set the, the lady. lady. I really, really, really hoped that I could have got Nathan Fillion on board. Oh. Um, for the Halo 4. Uh, sorry, for the Spartan 4 augmentation video. I'm assuming you did uh, reach out to him. I oh, reached out to him, yeah, on, on every on every platform I, I could manage. Uh, yeah, look up, look up, look up. He didn't get back to me. It's really quite sad. Yeah, Nathan. I love Nathan Fillion's voice. I'm a big fan of Fly, uh, Firefly. All I wanted, I just wanted him to voice, um, the, to voice the lines from one of the books where um, Buck gets the augmentations and talks about the difference between the different Spartan classes. Is he on cameo? No, he isn't. I looked. Ah, are they still here? I'm taking the left one. And you're like, I'll take the right one as well then. Okay. <laughs> I got this one. Yeah, Nathan Fillion's uh, his voice is. I wouldn't go as far as to say buttery smooth, but like, it's up there. Yeah. It's I, also, I also like that there's there's evidently like f there's friendships that have happened in in like, um, with with some of the celebrities that have have worked on Halo and this that and the other, where they kind of stuck by each other, and there's been these weird kind of similarities over the over the years. So, like, okay, so bearing in mind, right, so Buck, as we know, um, is, was originally, like, Gunnery Sergeant Buck, and is now Spartan Edward Buck. Correct. And, um, Alan Tuddock, is it Tuddock? Uh, I, I mean, I don't want to say Tuddock, voices, but yeah. He, okay. He voices, um, Mickey, from Halo ODST. Okay, we're not going to talk about him, because he's a bit of a prick, but... And obviously, another ODST in in his um, in his fire team was the rookie. Yep. Now, um, Nathan Fillion, the guy behind Buck, has gone on to make a TV series called The Rookie, where he stars along, uh, alongside at least in what at least in one episode, um, Alan. And it's just really weird to have like the you know, Mickey and Buck in. A TV series called The Rookie, when you had Mickey and Buck in ODST alongside The Rookie, it's just yeah, it's small coincidences that you notice because of the media you've uh, had beforehand. Like for example, yeah. the guy who voiced Mickey, Alan Tudyk. I'm going to pronounce his name like that. I don't think he's Alan, watching, so I don't Alan think Turkey Dinner. Yeah, that's the With guy. Gravy on the taters. Gravy on the taters. Um. <laughs> I want a he voiced uh, gravy on the taters. He and I voiced want a shit in your hat. <laughs> 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 he voiced the uh, you know the uh, I, I'd imagine you've probably seen Moana. You have kids, right? Moana. Have you seen Moana? Make way, make way. No, no, not at all. Okay, well. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, yeah, you have. Um, so he actually voices the chicken in that. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mm. So he voices the chicken. No, I don't have a shotgun back. Um, how do my stuff end up here? But he voices the the chicken in um, <laughs> Moana. Which once I found that out, now every time I see Mickey, I just think of the chicken. <laughs> which you can kind of see why again. It's once you know. I got the ghost. It's cool. I got him. I got him. I got him. Enemy! Okay, this ghost is fucked. Alright, um... There's another one there. Uh, yeah, that's probably also equally buggered. Did you pick up a rocket launcher by any chance? No. Okay, how are we going to deal with that wraith? I don't know. Keep shooting bullets at it. I'm just going to shotgun it. That seems to work on everything so far. Excuse me, mate. Don't you be shooting at my mate? 
I got him. I got him. I got him. Oh my god, I can't believe you just shoot at me. I killed him with a shotgun. That is like massively disrespecting of your trousers. <laughs> Leave my pants out of this. Ooh. No, we're not fucking doing this again. <laughs> <laughs> we're, not, we're not going through this freaking roll. So that's actually <laughs> a, a, another thing I want to point out. These uh, little lights on stalks that you see everywhere, they're actually yeah. reused a lot through uh, through Halo. They're actually they're on the arc in Halo 3 in a bunch yeah, of places. Um, they're, they're Covenant, um, they're Covenant, um, Covenant lights, basically. Yeah, but I mean, it's just nice to see that they've sort of remained in the game. They re they've reused them, yeah. Yeah, like it's not just like a one-off asset, like it, it's important. It's in uh, ODST yeah. as well. The only thing I like, the only thing I notice about the ones in Halo Three though is that if you, they're, they're like proximity activated, so if they detect motion nearby, they turn on. Yes. As opposed to those ones that are just on. Ooh. Uh, do you want to drive? Or boy. Should I drive? I'll let you drive. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I felt intimidated. Let's go. Power squats. To be honest, because of the <laughs> because of the minor latency between you squatting and the gun changing angle, it just kind of looked like you were grinding on the gun. Oh. <laughs> okay, now this is okay. This mission will be your opportunity to prove that you can actually drive, and that the entire time you've been driving, you've just been trolling. Oh, that's cheers. So you give me the level that's got huge quantities of ice to prove myself driving. No, I mean, you're not going to flip on the ice, are you? <laughs> Anything's possible. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. This gives me big uh, red team vibes from... Oh, oh. Ah! That's not you, don't Told worry. Ya. That's not you. That's the answer. <laughs> Let's yeah. go to the drive through Let's do it. Let's do it. It's uh, chicken nuggets. Right, we have to go up for the. Oh, f shit, the Whoa. bed. All right, Banshee. Oh, that's right. We take Banshees here. Yes. Please stop aiming at me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, there's a wraith. There's a wraith over there. Oh, there's enemies here. No, there's not. Yeah, we did a um, a test run a couple of days ago just to sort of uh, get the software I've been working with uh, up to snuff. And um, we played Halo 2. And I can already tell based off the gameplay we have in Halo 2 that you, you guys are going to fucking love to play through Halo 2. Mm. Because Insulation is an absolute devil. <laughs> how am I a devil? Uh, let, how many times do you kill me with the tank? Like, five maybe? Once or twice. I do still have the recording. I have to go back and check. <laughs> but yeah, it was, uh, that was pretty funny. Uh, I also saw someone suggest that we go get the um, scarab gun. Whoa. What was, that? what was that? Was that you? No, it's a that? grunt with a... Wow, okay, bye grunt. A grunt with a blasty boy. Yeah, but the, uh, with the nerf, like the nerf uh, grenade launcher. Because we're on easy. But yeah, someone suggested we should get the Scarab Skull when we head to that. Which is kind of cool, actually. That'd be uh, interesting to do. Um, it's a pain in the ass, but yeah. Uh, I mean, we could go back a, like, a second time and just edit it in. After the fact, surely. Uh, yeah. Unless we do it live. That'd be a fun thing to do live, right? Get the Scarab Gun. We do it the Sputnik way. Uh. That'd make a fun live video, actually. What's the verdict on that? Yeah, I mean, I mean, obviously this is coming out significantly sooner. <coughs> I'm losing my voice. This is coming out significantly sooner than oh, hello, lots of flood boys than um Halo Two. So let's put it to the comments. I mean, y you know, people are watching right now, surely, because we're we're premiering all of these episodes as they're going through. So come on, then, guys, we do a live stream of um getting the scarab gun from Halo Two. What do you think? Yes or no? I agree with him. Yeah, he's right. Yeah. 
I can't wait until this episode comes out and I've forgotten exactly what's happened and I'm going to be surprised. <laughs> when, <laughs> yeah. when That's what I was out. thinking as well. Yeah, I was just like, some guy in the chat's going to write something completely stupid and you're going to say, I agree with him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, by the way, I'm dead. You're dead? Yes. Oh, well, that's a shame. Do you know how I died? Go on. Your frag grenade. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it. Oh. Oh, I'm the heartless bastard that's just, just letting you, like, linger. Yeah. Why aren't you respawning? There we go. I'm oh, there back. you are. Let me go get my shotgun. Hello? Oh, God. Really? Is this really my what? shotgun? Because it's one I have more ammo than this. Did you die? No. What did you do? <laughs> I can hear a stifled laugh in the background now. Ooh, I thought I shot you then for a second. Uh, I wish. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> in before all the chat just says, me too. Relatable. Me. <laughs> That's going to get clipped. Boing. Boing. Mm, good. So, uh, yeah. Do you know why they called them banshees, by the way? Uh, it's because they make a horrible scream. Yes. Uh, they call so the banshees. covenant things are named after, like, spirits and ghosts. Quite literally, yeah, spirits yeah. and ghosts. Yeah, Race, spirit, banshees. ghost, banshee is a type of ghost, yeah. Banshees are, generally speaking, female um, female spirits. Um, and, yeah, they, they, they scream, basically. Like, that's where the, the, the term scream, scream like a banshee comes from. But um, it's um, they gave the the banshee that name because how did I get a headshot on a grunt with a banshee? They gave that name to the um, to the banshee because yeah, the the, the banshee itself. Whoa, hello. The banshee itself actually makes a a screaming noise, um, due to its aerodynamic profile. Yeah, I uh, it's kind of like a Stuka siren actually. Yeah. A what? A Stuka siren uh, from Mobile Two. The Stukas. It's a German plane that made like the sort of high pitched. Oh, look! Look at this. Oh, was that the shield you were just sort of plot? Yeah, yeah. I want to let, let me spawn and see what happens. If it does it again. All right, one minute. Yeah. Oh, please kill him! <laughs> oh, I'm running away. Right, is it coming back yet? Oh, you have a flood buddy, do you? No. No, not anymore. <laughs> Alright, see if it does it again. I think you've bugged it. We had another one that did that earlier. Uh, I had to respawn because I got taken out by uh, Rocket Flood. I thought I got him in time. Uh, it turns out did not. Hmm. Are there any more? Are there any more of those shield doors down there? Uh, are there? I don't think so, no. Let me just quickly fly up here and see if there's another one. Hang on. Okay, uh, but yeah, that's such a thing I had to do quite a bit of research into. Um, was when when I did the um, Dante's Inferno thing. Yeah. For one of the levels, I had to do quite a bit of research into sort of banshees. Um, in relation to I can't I can't remember which circle now. It's been so long, and I've really repressed that memory. But um, we one of the um, circles we looked into. Uh, talked about um like trees uh or people who attempted to or did commit uh suicide or brought back as trees that um constantly harassed by harpies yeah uh and sort of that was equated to as you're aware because you covered it in the video uh that was equated to the banshees being the harpies yeah uh, and the, the faces of these harpies would um described to be faces of women which typically a uh a banshee is a female uh, spirit. Yeah, and nah, that's not glitching they, out anymore. That's where the equation sort of came from now. <coughs> but I hope this banshee is alive. It is. But yeah, that's sort of where that idea uh, came from for that. But yeah, it does make like a Stuka Saren noise. Did you take the war hug again? Yeah. Okay. 
I thought you were still down here. Oh, somewhere. I got warped down to you. I walked all the way up there just to get warped down here. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> oh, shit. Oh, the door's meant to do that, isn't it? Hello? Oh, we're back here. The, um... The bridges. <laughs> you just let me do all the work. I'm trying to see if I can get through the door. <laughs> oh, you can get a banshee through the door. Oh, yeah, I know. I don't think you get a badger. I just wonder if you can get a warhog. Probably not. Tepek, I know you're watching in the chat. Is there a way to do that? If so, please tell us. Thank you. Oh, it's good that we know that these are going to be premiering from now on because we can really fuck with the chat. Because <laughs> I know Tepex going to be watching this. Which means I can ask him questions. With like... I'm not going to give away how far ahead of, in time we are, but... It give us so much... Um, like sort of... Reading time into that. Yeah. It allows me to ask it like... Weeks in advance. I mean... I'm still totally absolutely live. psyched that we... That, that we found that there are ladders here. You found that there were ladders. All right, fine. I found that there are ladders here. You already knew. Yeah. That that's that looks cursed as hell. <laughs> that's how you climb ladders <coughs> in multiplayer. Wait, you do it. I want to see what it looks like. Were you down here or not? No, I'm here. You can see oh, it from okay. here. I'll do it the way you did it. <laughs> Wunderbar. Wunderbar. Oh, this is the part with the uh, the rocket flood, isn't it? There, There is one down there, yeah. Wait for the infection forms first, though. Oh, is it going to be good? Is it going to be good? It is. Oh, it is! <laughs> I'm pretty good with grenade throws. Turns out. Shit with everything else, but I'm pretty good with grenades. I saw that. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> Fucker. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't even mad. I ain't tripping. Oh, this is such a long mission, isn't it? It's gonna be a long mission. I have two flood buddies. Oh, they've got arms for me. Oh, there oh. you go. Okay, I'll go over there. <laughs> Runs off. Hey. There's the rocket, if you want that. Actually, mm. Mm, no. Not happening. <laughs> <laughs> I opened my mouth and regretted it immediately. Fine. Okay. Oh, I love this bit. Do you know what we should... Yeah, okay, we'll have this, and then do you know what we should do? What? Is have just a montage of us absolutely murdering the next group of... Uh, Enemies completely, because time. Like, look at look how long we've been recording for, man. Mm. This going to take quite a while because we've got like two sections to clean out here. Yeah, it'd be right. Yeah, it'd be fine. Okay, cut that out, please. Um. <laughs> 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 now leave it in. It's fine. I love this bit. It's because the music. Yeah. All right. I'll keep it down so we get this. I'll go in classic. Oh, ha, ha. Just something about it. Yeah. That hit me. I've got goosebumps off that. Like, actual, genuine goosebumps. <sighs> Just. What? Wow. Okay. I don't know how you clip stuff, so I'm hoping that clipped it. I've got to play this in classic. <laughs> I'm just thinking to myself, I think there might even be a way. I'm, I won't do it, I won't use it too heavily, but there might be a way in editing that I'll, I can make it look like good old classic split screen. 
Oh, that'd be awesome, actually. Yeah. I won't. I won't use it too heavily, but I might just throw it in. Dude, yeah, you should put in like fact, a CRT monitor. In, I'll I'll throw it in like now. Now that I've just said it, once I respawn, I'll throw it in. Okay. People, pe people are gonna like it. You're gonna like it. Ready? Uh, it's, it's gonna feel like. I've got to wait for you to respawn. I'm just gonna try and clear up some space for two men then. All right. That's. Wait for wait for the good old days. Wait for the fields, guys. Wait for the fields. Should wow. be right here. <laughs> there you go. There we go. Ah, uh, split screen. Dude, stop screen peeking. Man, this is how it used to be. Me and my friend, when uh, when we used to play against each other on Halo C at his house. He used to taper uh, his blanket halfway up the monitor, or the, the screen. Um, Skills, yeah. To prevent uh, spawn peek, or not spawn peek, but like screen peeking. Yeah. That's us. Why did I do that? <laughs> I just went up and punched a, a flood form with a rocket launcher. It's a win-win. Either he blows himself up and you win, or he doesn't blow himself up and you still win. Do this music. Do, 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 do. We should play this in classic. I think it's. I think it's the right way to play this. Should we do that? Yeah. If you're not well. ready, playing classic. It's the way this has to be played for sure. Is that throw going to be good? <gasps> <laughs> Nearly killed me. Oh, okay. Well, I tried. <laughs> Not to kill you, sorry. Uh, I'll leave rockets to you here. Um, by the med kits down here. And I'll run pistol. Rock ammo's over there. Okay, rocket flood ahead. I see them. Wow, okay, he committed a livent. <laughs> <laughs> Did he get up again? Yep. I didn't realize they could revive a third time. Did he really? I think that's the same one. I only killed two. One blew himself up. Either that or my brain's not working properly. Yeah, brain I know. Parting. I know. Hidden Xperia loves that piece of music. Oh, this this bit as well is good. This used to creep me out. Well, it is the the f the kind of the flood theme, isn't it? Yeah. Right, I'll see if I can dispatch of some of the Covenant the far end. Is it just me, or is it actually mildly terrifying when the flood do that weird, like when they, like, frenzy towards you? Uh, there's no mildly you know about it. It's just straight up terrifying. Yeah. When they suddenly flail their limbs and they're just like bombing it at you at top speed. Yeah, it's like when you, if you ever played. Did you ever play DayZ? No, I didn't know. It's like in classic on that, like you shoot at a zombie and they just haul ass towards you. I tell you what, I, what zombie game I did, I've played recently on, um, I think it was on Gold, Games for Gold, that I was really quite impressed with, and that was um, the World War Z game. I'm okay. I'm on two minds about that. Uh, I I like it because it's I like World they, War Z. They, they got the horde mechanic really like really accurate to how it was in the in the movie. Yeah. Where they literally like you know they 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 climb up each other and flow over each other almost like a like a river. Yeah, they got that right, but the the downside is because I played a lot of Left 4 Dead, it feels sort of like a, a cheap Left 4 Dead. Okay. Like the Left 4 Dead that never was, really. Right. Um, And I'm somewhere in between really okay with that and really not okay with that. Like, sort of, to me, it was a spiritual successor of Left 4 Dead, but then it yeah. lacked a lot of the features that Left 4 Dead had. <laughs> How do I miss? Please don't shoot. 
Okay. Two mic. Okay. Oof. My butt cheeks were gripping cloth then. <laughs> as long as you weren't touching cloth, we're all good. Nah. <laughs> oh, actually, let's go up to the bridge. I never decided to actually fly up here. The door's locked. Christ, okay. You're welcome. <laughs> you said this flight of the bridge. I was like, come on! I don't there's anything up here. See now, this is, this, is where I, this is where I'd put a skull. It's out yeah. the way, but like it should be at one, end of, one of the ends of the tunnel. It's also the first time I ever spoke to you was <coughs> on one of your playthroughs of this. Yeah, when I was trying to do the little speed, speed run. run. Yeah. yeah. The, uh, where you drop off the edge here and it despawns all the enemies to the rest of the game. Yeah. The uh, <coughs> the one where you found the Monday emote. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man, that was like a few Mondays I feel, ago. That, that feels like a long time ago now. And I know it wasn't. No, it was like no banshee. No, okay. Well, I'm stuck up here. Um, Tight, I guess. But uh, no, it, it feels like a long time ago. But it was, it was like beginning of December, maybe. Hmm. All right. Well, I'm stuck up here, by the way. My banshee. Uh, oh, I see if I can give you a lift. Uh, that not not with Halo One, we're not. <laughs> oh yeah. You could warp me. Just fly to the next zone. It'll warp me as soon as you walk into the corridors. And to prevent myself from dying to you, I'm going to stand somewhere where you literally cannot hit me. I see you ten, but ten around almost. Oh. Okay, that that's not a rock. <laughs> it is in fact not a rock. Yeah, we're going to land up there. I was going to. Oh, well, you're not now. <laughs> oh, that's a rock though. But you can't actually get onto it. Oh, <laughs> anniversary! I think there's a camo elite down there somewhere. Did you? <coughs> okay. I think there's a camo elite. Here. Yeah, because I only killed one, and there's usually a two. Although, if that's legendary only, I don't know. But there's usually one on the ice down there. You can usually see his... You can usually see the glow of his uh, plasma, plasma rifle. pistol. Or rifle, sorry. Yeah. I'll have a look. I killed one, but I didn't kill a second well, one. So. Where did you kill one? Uh, Where you are. Yeah, so that I can see the body of one there. Yeah, it's the one I got. These shields aren't respawning at all. Maybe it's both. Look at all the, all the bodies here. Right, can we can we teleport me? I'm, I'm getting there to go here. Oh, sorry. Oh my god, it won't teleport you. <laughs> <laughs> no, Dashy. <laughs> Come on for you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping I would land on the front of your banshee, and bounce off that. Yeah. Uh, what happened was I instead died. <coughs> oh, we're so staying on my view for that. <laughs> Split screen it. That'd be interesting to see. Yeah. As I just get inevitably closer. Okay, got my match back. Let's go. Oh, I just got shot. There he is. Hey. There we go. That's both of them. Called it. So to that guy in the chat who wrote, "No, that's only on legendary." You just got proven wrong. <laughs> I know oh, my man. halos. And then sentinels. Sentinels. Should be here. I think there was a rock there that I did not anticipate. Okay, and then got a assault rifle. I'll keep a plasma pistol, but I'll take the shotgun with me. Where are you off to? Is there a terminal down there? Or a skull? I don't think so, but... I don't remember the skull on. is for this map. There's a skull, yeah. Okay. Well, I can't get that. Oh, actually I can. There's a bench here. And then through this door is the last area. It's also where Cortana and the I didn't, I, I didn't actually even know this skull was here. I just thought to myself, 
in assault on the control room, this is where the wraith is, and it's really like really difficult to hit it with the scorpion because one, the scorpion doesn't aim properly, <laughs> and two, there's a slight dip at the back of the canyon, so you, you can only ever get like a a semi clear view of the top of the wraith. That's the <coughs> pinata school. Pinata. Oh my god, look at this tree. Achievement. What? What about it? Oh. <laughs> no, oh. Um. <laughs> Master Treef? Oh, well in in original graphics that the, the you from inside you can't even see the, the, the bark, you just look up and there's like a floating <laughs> a floating mass of tree. <clears throat> I think the texture they're using for the bottom of this tree is the same texture they use for the flood. It's got a very fleshy look to it. Oh yeah. Oh that's right, there's a flashlight in this game. I've not needed it yet. Is there actually collision on this? It doesn't look like there's collision. Uh, there is collision, but the um, the actual uh, texture for the... There we go, yeah. If you go in classic, it's there. But the texture for the bottom of the tree is lower down than the actual hitbox for the tree oh, okay. in uh, Anniversary. Sweet! Okay. Let's get to the end of this mission and uh, go and attempt to save... Mr. Keys. This is elegance as hell. <laughs> I'm doing the exact same thing behind you. <laughs> uh, I took the shotgun ammo, by the way. Who don't mind? Uh, that's cool. I don't think we're really going to majorly need it in the next area, really, are we? Uh, <coughs> I don't think we are. Plasma pistol, that's up. So right here is where Cortana would say, um, right here is where Cortana would say that she's got a lock on the Captain CNI transponder. Yeah. Uh, in, in the flood, which, again, doesn't make any difference really at all, but it just gives a bit more reasoning for going to the truth and reconciliation. Mm. There's that horrible sort of whispery ambience. Yeah, I love it. It's Something haunting. About it. Beautifully haunting. Ooh. I like the the um particle effect on the um like the halo that's surrounding that there. That's quite yeah. cool. It's possibly a reference to Halo. Maybe. Should we go into it? Ah! <laughs> I regret everything. <laughs> Where was Chief exactly going to walk just then? <laughs> Into the wall. <laughs> Let's get out of here. little tidbit it's this action right now Cortana teleporting chief using his energy shielding systems that causes the power supply control units in Mjolnir Mark 5 to be completely and utterly written off which is why the um, gunnery sergeant in the armory in Cairo station at the very start of Halo 2 is so pissed off of chief there you go. I was the bleeding was about to fail. There's viscosity throughout the gel layer. Optics totally fried, and let's not even talk about the power supply. You know how expensive this gear is, son? Tell that to the Covenant, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Tell that to the Covenant. Tell that to the Covenant.
That was actually alarmingly good. I've got this running joke inside my head. That um that 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 sergeant actually gets louder and louder the more he talks, the longer he talks because it because I I know he shouts in like when the energy shield recharge station started. He shouts. So I've got this this thing in my head now that it's like the blading was about to fail. There's viscosity throughout the gel layer. Optics totally fried, and let's not even talk about the power supply. <laughs> you know how expensive this gear is, son? Well, I guess it was all obsolete anyway. <laughs> well, you're forgetting with the just with Siri to escape. Get the hell out of there. I'm going to spend that. He's just screaming. Like. Yeah. And when he Eventually dies, just... when he dies, he's like, uh, when you when you take a car from like sixth gear to first, it's just like, uh, <laughs> 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 right, should we uh let's let's end it here um yeah. sorry for making everyone think we're doing a double playthrough here we are not. Um, not no no this is this is this is the end of the episode we, guys, i just wanted to get that out quickly <laughs> yeah you guys can uh tune in next week to watch us um save the man in that room over there captain captain I've lost him.